guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching in this video I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here this is like my all-time favorite vibe makeup look I love anything like bronzy glowy nude it's just like where I'm comfortable if I could wear this makeup look every day I would I really focused on my skin and then the eyes were super easy so yeah if you want to see how to get this look then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that way you guys get updates when I have a new upload and yeah let's get started okay so I already filled in my brows a little bit off camera I just feel like it's boring for anybody to watch me fill in my brows but I did use the goof proof brow pencil I really don't do much I just like fill in the sparse areas and brush them out and I keep doing that until they're nice and dark and thick how I like it and yeah so let's just get into the face makeup i'm going to start by using the tarte clean slate timeless smoothing primer and it's this really like weird putty consistency but i like to just pick up a little bit of this and rub it between my fingers and then press it into my face where my pores are largest which is going to be in my t-zone especially like right here on my cheeks right here and like the sides of my nose i've such large pores and so i like to fill those in and then smooth out like texture and just my t-zone area for the rest of my face i really want to like have glowy dewy fresh skin so this really helps a lot with that i'm going to be using the mac strobe cream this is just the og one and i'm going to take a little bit of this just on my fingers and smooth this out like on the rest of my face and this is going to help have like a nice luminous glow under my foundation I'm not gonna put it like in the center of my face, just like on the outside. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I'm in the shade Warm Beige, and I don't know why I didn't use this sooner because it's from the drugstore. Everybody like raves about it all the time, but I just started using it personally, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put a couple pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna blend this out with a damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just gonna blend this out all over my face. After taking 30 years to blend out my foundation, I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. Drugstore concealer that is a bomb. And I'm gonna use this to conceal and like highlight under my eyes. And also like down the center of my face. It's a light shade for me, but I kind of like the like brightening effects that it has. And I'm gonna use the same sponge to blend it out. Okay, now that that is blended out, I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more of the MAC Strobe Cream. This time I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use the sponge to like place it exactly where I want it because I really want to look super glowy and healthy and like, look at that, this just does such a good job. You can just build this up. Like I said, under foundation, you can always just put it over, just put it under, whatever you'd like, but I just love this stuff. So I like to place it like on the high points of my face, my forehead, down the center of my nose, Just anywhere I want to glow. Okay, I don't want to set down my face too crazy because I do want to keep like the glow. So I'm going to use this Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm using the color number two, medium. And it's just this little compact. And I'm just going to very lightly dust this like under my eyes because I always crease there. Just lightly dusting. I'm also going to set down my eyelids because I'm going to put on some shadow, of course. And then I always tend to get like super oily around my nose. So I'm going to also dust this like around the sides. All right, I want to contour a little bit 
just to bring like some definition into my face. And I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to grab these two shades right here, kind of mix these two, this darker one and then this like cool tone one. And I'm going to start with a really little brush just so that way I can get a little more of a precise um, placement. So I'm going in first to like the hollows of my cheeks. But I'm going to use like a super light hand. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Just keep it right here on the outside. As you can see, just from looking like straight on, this side is already looking more defined because of the shadow. But I'm going to be using a bigger fluffy brush to kind of blend it up because I don't want it to be so harsh. Also bring a little bit of this up like into my hairline on my temple. Just kidding, that's not my temple. Into my hairline on my forehead. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the bigger brush to also blend this out. I'm also gonna put, drag like the excess, I'm not gonna pick up anything too heavy, but the excess powder on my brush and drag it under my jawline right here to also create a shadow. Okay, the face is looking good. I am going to contour my nose a little bit. And for this, I'm just gonna pick up the cool tone just so that it doesn't come off too harsh, hopefully, and a little tiny brush. And I like to just go super light hand, go from like the inner part of my eyebrow and just lightly bring it down the side. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? Hello. Okay. And also the tip. And then every time that I think I go in a little too harsh, I just pick up my damn beauty sponge and I just kind of like press it out. All right, I'm gonna go in with a powder highlight now because why not? I really want the glow today. I'm gonna be using the new Dose of Colors Chasing the Sun Highlight, the Desi X Katie collab. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this. It's so freaking pretty. Now this, a little goes a long way. It is pretty intense. So I like to like put it on my brush, tap it off, tap it on my hand first, and then apply it. And I'm just gonna kinda go over the high points, kind of everywhere that I put that strobe cream. I like to bring this up, always a little bit down the center, my leaf. Just use like the excess, I try not to go back in because I don't want it to be too crazy. Just use the excess on my brush under my brow bone. Okay, just to intensify it a little bit more and really melt it into the skin, I absolutely love using this Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow. And it's like this spray can of goodness. And so I'm gonna shake it up and I'm going to spray this right onto my sponge. And then I'm gonna like lightly go over the highlighter and it just like, bam. It not only intensifies it, but it also like makes any super powdery highlight look like gloss. It's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush and then move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using this Milani blush. This is in Romantic Rose. I love the Milani blushes. Tap some in here, tap the excess off, and then just apply a little bit to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, for my eyes, I'm gonna start by using the Frenication Palette. This is also by Dose of Colors, the Desi X KD Collection. I did another look slash like review using this palette and I'm just so obsessed. Go check out that video. I'll leave it in the description. But I'm gonna start by using this color right here. This is called Necessary. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. I'm just gonna constantly be going back to it and buffing it into the crease. So I'm gonna use a super fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna start by blending this out this color looks a lot darker or I'm sorry this color looks a lot lighter in the pan than it comes off on the eye but that's why I don't know that's why I love it because it works so well as a transition shade because you can like build it up 
Okay, so I built up their transition shade in the crease. I wanna use this um, like shimmery, it's called Just a Kiss from the palette. It's like this sh really, really pretty shimmery um, glittery shade. So I'm gonna pick this up on my finger. I'm just gonna pack this all over my lid. The reflex in this are just like gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go into my lower lash line. I'm gonna be picking up this color right here called Cheens. These colors are so intense. I'm gonna wing it up a little bit. And I'm gonna grab like a fluffier brush to blend this out. Gonna buff it into this outer corner here. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the Chasing the Sun highlight and I'm gonna pop it into the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm ready for lashes and mascara. I'm gonna pop on these Demi Wispies. These are the foam ink ones. I've used them a bunch, so I'm just gonna pop those on. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be bouge today. I'm gonna use my Chanel mascara. This is the Le Valium de Chanel number 10, and I love it when I'm trying to be extra. But this is just a bomb mascara. So I'm gonna pop those on, and I'll be right back. All right, lashes and mascara are on, and I think it is so pretty. I absolutely love the eyes. So just to finish off the whole look, I'm gonna do a little nude lip combo. I'm gonna be using three products, so it's a little extra, but, oh no, four products. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> four products, so it is a little bit extra, but I really love this little combo that I created and I've been wearing recently. So I'm gonna start by using this Smashbox lip liner. This is in the color Sienna and I'm gonna line up my lips first. Next, I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors lipstick. This is in the color More Creamer, please. This is just like a true, true nude. This was actually from Desi and Katie's first collaboration with Dose of Colors. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Desi and Katie. But, um, this is like a true nude. It also, it almost like matches my skin color. It's like a little bit orangey. So as you can see, it's like a deeper orangey nude. I'm gonna go over that with this color. This is by L'Oreal. This is also a lipstick in the color Fairest Nude. This is more like a true pinky nude. I just always have to like apply a gloss throughout the day. So I'm gonna throw this with me in my purse. This is by Booksome. This is in the color Hot Toddy. I'm gonna finish it off with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm gonna give my face one last spray and then I will be done. All right guys, this is the final look. I absolutely love it. If you like this tutorial, then please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's any other video requests or anything that you guys would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.